hey guys welcome back to a new video on this channel in this video i will show you how to add mailchimp to wix.com so without any further ado let's get started so first of all you need to go to mailchimp.com and create an account if you haven't one already so i have uh, created an account and i have logged into my account now what you need to do is you need to click on the audience section in in your MailChimp dashboard and you need to scroll down and you will get to see an option called add a pop-up form there are three options basically add a pop-up form create a landing page or connect your site so what we will do is we will just add a pop-up form click on the add a pop-up form dialog button now there are many options as you can see here the first option we get to see is form builder next option is embedded forms uh, third option is subscriber pop-up and the last option is from integrations we will just select the second option which is embedded forms in embedded forms it will generate html code to embed to your site or blog to collect signups so we will just select this click on select and now you will get to see some uh, options like this classic condensed horizontal unstyled and advanced so we will stick to classic here and here you can see you can change the title this is the preview and this is the editable text so here it is written subscribe so I can just change that I can write here for example please subscribe to get up uh, to stay updated to stay updated and you can just toggle the options here show only selected show only required fields so in this case if you turn on that option show only required fields it will just uh, turn on it will only display the email address and if you turn on this show all fields in that case your subscriber will have to enter the email address the first name and the last name so you can see all other options like show interest field groups you can turn that off or show required field indicators you can turn that on and it will sh and just show whether the field is required or not so now what you need to do is you need to you can also enhance your form just click on disable all javascript include archive link and include referral link if you want to add a referral link so after doing all these things you can just see here the preview so in that case we will just uncheck include referral link if you if you have turned on the referral link you will get to see like this powered by mailchimp and we will we'll def we definitely don't want to show that so what we will do is we will just uncheck this and we will also uncheck include archive link now this is what the preview looks like so now what we will do is we will just copy the copy and paste the code in our wix site just copy this code and we will go to our Wix dashboard. We go to Wix.com and sign into your account. Then you need to select the site you want to add this form. Now then click on edit site and go to Wix editor. Go to the page you want to add the form. Now click on add and then click on embed and here we'll get to see something like this custom embeds under this custom embeds uh, section you will get to see html iframe just drag and drop that to your site to the page where you want to add this code just enter the position and just double click on that and enter the code here make sure you have selected this code option here and then click on apply now you can just drag and 
make sure that all the fields are visible okay now as you can see all the fields are visible and a user can easily just type in all the details and submit it from here so now we will just click on publish now click on done okay now we will see the uh, live site here click on view site and now let us save this form okay, so go to advanced here and uh, okay we have already saved this form i think then go to the site here and go to the page where you have entered this contact form and as you can see here is the contact form live on your Wix site so after you enter all these details all these details will be saved in your all these details will be transferred to your mailchimp dashboard to your mailchimp account and you can just use that email and all these details for email marketing and you can mail your subscribers so this was all about today's video please do like and share this video and subscribe my youtube channel for regular updates related to technology cyber security and ethical hacking thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next one